Did you know your Mac is based on Unix? Today I'm going to show you how to use a few commands to wow your friends, or at the very least get more comfortable with the command line on your Mac. To get started, click on the Go menu and select Utilities. In the window that opens, double click on Terminal. You'll have, you might have to scroll down a little bit. In the resulting window, you'll get some type you see here. This prompt shows your last login and the welcome to Darwin message. Darwin is Apple's implementation of Unix. You'll also see your Mac's name, a tilde, that's the little squiggly line, which signifies your home folder, and then your short username. After the dollar sign is where when you type your commands will show up. Enter your first command lowercase l and s and then press enter. The terminal window will display something similar to this. What you see here is what you would see on a new Mac and can vary depending on if you've installed software which has added additional items to your home folder. Now type open and the tilde. Tilde is made by holding on the shift key and pressing the tick mark above the tab key. You will be jumped back to the finder window showing your home folder in the standard window. You just learned the commands ls which is short, shorthand for list and open which is just like double clicking on a folder on the Mac. Try this back in terminal window and type open documents. You will have opened your documents folder in the finder. And now for the last command of the day. In terminal, type cal. You'll see you get a mini calendar of the current month and year. Type cal 2011 and we get the whole year. If you want to learn more about each command, type man before the command to see its manual and how to use it. I hope this gives you the confidence to explore more of what your Mac has to offer. Now go show off your newfound power to friends and family.